Hello everyone, my name is Max and today the piece that we'll be looking at is what shall we do with the drunken sailor and I'm going to share with you two tips that can help you play the song better. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you click the button below, thumbs up the video and leave a comment below. That would really help. Alright, continue with the video. Just from the title, we know that this song is about sailors and we want to try to express that mixture of high energy, a little bit of craziness and rough movement that we see in the drunken sailor and that's something to keep in mind. I'm going to put a picture here uh, just so that you have an idea. Now the first thing that I would like to talk about is about the bow stroke. In the first bar, bar 5, that you have to play, we have this bow stroke. Uh, this is, keeps on coming throughout the whole piece and it's definitely something that you want to spend some time practicing. The idea is simple. You want to be doing, starting from here, not the bottom of the bow, we're going to start somewhere in the lower half, close to the middle. And the first stroke, we have more bow. Right, and then bring it back. Long, short, short. Long, short, short. One long bow followed by two short bow. When we're doing the up bow, we try to bring the bow back to the same place. Okay? To begin with, I would suggest just by doing some open string A. And once you can do it, gradually increase the speed. Okay, until you are very comfortable and then you can add your finger in. My second tip goes all the way to the end of the note. To really express the energy, I suggest instead of leaving the bow on the string, when you finish, right, we want to try to let go. And this here, because of the high energy nature of this piece, you can really showcase uh, your passion. So, finish it nicely with energy. And that's it. Those are the two tips.